Today on Make Shit Crate, we're gonna take these two action figures and combine them to make this one. And today we're going to customize some action figures. So we have um, always had, if you're a Masters of the Universe fan, we've always had Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Armor Skeletor. Uh, the Classics version gave us a Battle Armor Faker, but we've never gotten one in the Vintage line and we've yet to get one in the Origins line. So today I'm gonna make my own. We're gonna do that using a uh, Battle Armor Skeletor and a regular He-Man. Now you could use a Faker figure, uh, but at the time of recording this, they were running like $30 each. So a regular He-Man costs $14. We can just repaint it. So we have our main two figures we want. Um, the good thing about these figures are that um, the boots and the legs are all interchangeable. So like this should yep, pop off. This will pop off here. And so I can plug this one into this and that will make that a lot quicker. Now the difference is that you can see uh, Faker's colors are a little different. So we're gonna pop these off and we're going to repaint them. That's gonna be what we do with a lot of the stuff. Problem comes is that with He-Man or the Faker, whoop, the arms pop right out. That's not a big deal. If these were just Fakers, we could just pop them out, use them, and it'd be no big deal. With Battle Armor one, this arm does not pop out. So we're gonna use some, uh, we're gonna take the hands out and we're gonna use some hot water to separate uh, this arm at the joints right here. Oh, that one came out a lot easier. Okay, these are all primed. I went with the blue just because I didn't have any gray around and it's uh, not too far from the blue I need. So, I figured that was a good medium. But while we got the primer drying on those, we're gonna go ahead and start painting these pieces. Actual Origins line or the actual Vintage line never came out with a Battle Armor uh, figure. They did in the Classics line, which will be on screen along with the little mini uh, Super 7 line. Um, those both portrayed all his armor as being different colors of orange or all one color of orange. A lot of the customs I see either have uh, orange where the black is and black where the purple is or orange where the purple is and leaving the black as it is. I don't really want to do either of those. What I want to do is I'm going to replace the black with orange and leave the purple, I think. I think. Um, I might go ahead and just do it all orange. Uh, I'm not 100%. For the chest spinner, I have a really cool idea, uh, but right now we need to uh, get some paint on these. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the head back on this figure for painting uh, because I'm not too worried about this mismatch character getting paint all over. That'll make it a little easier to uh, get everything and not have to repaint as much.
the one of the problems I'm having yeah, is uh, holding on to this uh, is the more I paint this, like the longer it's taking for the inside to dry. This is still tacky. So I think I should do what I should have done originally and actually attempt to split this open. There we go. Got it all apart. Um, we did have to break the post to do it, which is not a real, real big deal because once we put it back together, we're just going to glue it anyway. So, yeah. So, uh, now that we got this all apart, I'm going to clean off as much of the paint that I've put on this thing as possible. Just after, like, 10 minutes of cleaning, I have gotten most of, not all of, but most of the paint off these, um, which I'm kind of glad I did. Because it wasn't adhered very well so one thing we are going to do before we spray paint any of this is we're going to uh, rough this up with some, just a little bit of sandpaper give it a little more grit and uh, then we will go from there so one thing we're gonna do while we're waiting for everything to dry is our arms are completely dry so we're gonna go ahead and put them uh, back in our figures. I don't think we're gonna need to uh, reheat these up to do this, um, but if we do, we will. But uh, I think we should be okay. Um, the color is just a little off. We are gonna have to repaint Faker's face anyway. So when we do, we will go over uh, with just a tinge lighter of a coat, uh, just touch it up. But in all reality, I think it's probably uh, close enough. So I've let these dry over the weekend and the legs and the arms are okay. The head's tacky and I don't know why. I've had so much problems with this head. Um, the funny thing is, is that like I said, I did this on a He-Man because it was cheaper than a Faker. Faker was like running like 25 to $30 online. Well, I went on vacation this weekend and lo and behold, I find next to Faker. So, I think uh, I'm going to kind of see. I might just go ahead and just use the parts from this just because it's easier. But, like I said, the legs and the arms totally worked. The head would have worked. I think it's just, like I said, I think I just used the wrong paint or something. I don't know. So, one thing we're going to need to do is we're going to get the decals back on the barrel that goes in the chest. Now, we could probably hand paint it, but it's never going to look as good as the soap screen or whatever they use. So, we have water slide decals. Uh, this is, uh, you can get, I got this right on Amazon. You can probably get it at Walmart or, you know, Staples, Office Depot, whatever. Uh, basically, water slide decals, what they are is that they are decals that you can just, you get them wet and you just slide them right onto what you want, put them in place, let them dry, and you hold all the detail and everything like that of like a sticker or something like that, but without the border. So, uh, we're gonna go, this, uh, you have to use this one on an inkjet. They might have them for laser jet printers. I'm not positive. I have an inkjet, so that's what we're gonna use. Go and get this printed out, uh, coat it in a couple things of acrylic spray, which is like spray mob, mod podge or whatever, and uh, go from there. So because I had troubles on the first ones, I'm gonna have Jess do it because she has steadier hands than I do and she's got a little more patience. The water decals just come right off. So we're gonna try doing uh, just the main one and we're just gonna put, I'm just gonna put this back together. I'm not gonna worry about it spinning and all that good stuff, which actually makes this a lot less stressful. And yeah. Like I said, we got that on. So now that I don't have to worry about it uh, spinning, uh, I'm not as worried about it going back together correctly. So I'm just going to get it put back together 
and then that's all we gotta do. And we're Just so you know, these are the legs I painted. Um, they work just fine, but like I said, we found, ended up finding a figure figure really cheap. So I am gonna use the parts from him uh, just because they'll look a little nicer. I like the way this one is, like this. He kind of looks more like a a defunct version of him. I I keep it like that. Cause I still have my good one. And now I have my battle armor one. That's it. I'm happy with how this turned out. Hopefully uh, we can revisit this down the road and get the mechanism to work, get the water decal problem to work. No big deal. Uh, this is gonna mainly be static anyway. I'm not gonna be playing with it, so it's cool. Uh, but I'm happy with it. Um, I think the casting of the sword worked out really well. Um, if I had had a pressure pot or a vacuum chamber to pull out the bubbles, I think it will work a little better, but uh, I'm I'm happy with it. So, um, if I would've known I would've done it this way though, I probably would've just cast the whole thing and then just added the arms and all. But, no big deal. Anyway, if you would like to see other videos like this, uh, we will have another figure, uh, uh, what, a remodeling video that we did right here. We're gonna have a playlist of other geeky stuff down here. Hopefully it'll give us a like and a subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you guys.